Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll solve some of the math uh, using sine rule and cosine rule. These are very simple. And I hope you know those uh, formulas uh, of sine rule and cosine rule and when to use them. Now, in my, in my uh, one of the video, whenever I prove sine rule, I told you that sine rule is uh, if you have a non right angle triangle ABC, opposite of angle A is a small a, opposite of angle B is a small b, the side, and opposite of uh, uh, angle C is side C. Okay, when we have that, sine A over side A equal to sine B over side B equal to sine C over side C, or it's the reciprocal of that A by sine A equal to B by sine B equal to C by sine C. And when we can use that? Uh, we use the sine rule when two angles and one side is given. Two angles is given and one side is given. Okay. Or two sides and one corresponding angle given. Two sides and one corresponding means the two side is given. Angle has to be one of those given sides opposite. So this angle is opposite of this given side. So we can use the sine rule. And cosine rule, uh, it's like this. For side A equal to square root B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. And for angle, cos A should be B square plus C square. And opposite of this, this side is going to be square and minus, minus A square divided by 2BC and such that. Okay. And when can we, when can we use the sine, cosine rule? When two sides and included angle, two sides and included angle given and all three sides are given. If you look here. Okay, um, your sine rule, when you use sine rule, let me just put those aside for the time being and compare this. Okay, compare this. Now, sine rule use when two angles, two angles and any one side given. Okay, it doesn't have to be corresponding because if it's this side, then we always can subtract uh, this two from 180 to get that one. Okay, so any two angles and one side. If this is given, we use sine rule and two sides, any two sides and one of the given sides opposite angle given. And here when, when all three sides is given and when two sides and included angle given, this time we use the cosine rule, okay? Now, we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna show you this again and again, okay? As long as we uh, take to finish this, okay? Now, sine and cosine rule, find ABC. ABC, this angle. Now look at the information given. I have two side and I have angle. So these are two sides. So two sides and an angle. So two sides and one corresponding angle. So two sides and opposite side of one given uh, sides angle is 120. So we're going to use the sine rule. Okay. And the way it goes, sine, I can write down angle B and over that is 12 equal to sine 120 over 21. Therefore, sine angle B supposed to be, make sure your uh, calculator in degree mode, uh, it's gonna be 12 times, let me do this. If you bring this one over here, 12 times sine 120 divided by 21. So 12 times sine 120 divided by 21, I got something like that. So B is going to be sine inverse that. So sine inverse, whatever that we got, and it's going to be 29.7 degree, 29.7 degree. So this is 29.7 degree. This is done. Now, find the length of site PR. So we need to find out PR. This one equal to what? Two, two angles and one side is given and two sides uh, sorry, two angles and one side. Two angles and one side is given. So again, we're going to use sine rule. So two angles. See that this is opposite of this angle and which is not given. So find this angle. So angle R is going to be 180 minus sum of these two. 27 plus 78, they are degree. So 180 minus 27 plus 78. 180 minus 27 plus 78, I should be getting 75. So this is 75. And now we are ready to do that 12.3 um, uh, over, I'm using this formula now, 
using this one side is in the numerator and angle in the denominator doesn't matter wh however you want to do that is fine okay and then sine this r is going to be 75 degree and look at this i i want to find out pr so write down pr and the opposite of pr is sine 78 degree sine 78 degree so pr is going to be 12.3 transpose this one to that side sine 78 over sine 75 so what do we got 12.3 times sine 78 divided by sine 75 i got 12.5 okay so that's going to be 12.5 centimeter pr is going to be 12.5 so this is going to be 12.5 centimeter if 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 they are centimeters so this is going to be 12.5 centimeter now next one find the length of side ab so this one is what now i have two sides and included angle given this does sounds like the cosine rule two sides and included angle given so and we are we want to find out the length of that now this is sine rule length whenever we are trying to find out the side then this is what we're going to use this formula so this is ab so write down ab and it's a square root so not this okay actually we're going to subtract this uh, its opposite angles okay but other two sides that's going to be 8 square plus 6 square minus 2 times product of this 8 times 6 then cos opposite of this side opposite of this is 32 okay so 8 square oops 8 square plus 6 square minus 2 times 8 times 6 times cos 32 that's going to give me this and i need to find out the square root of that and that's going to be 4.31 centimeter okay this one is the length of side ab now last one for today's video is going to be question number four find angle acb acb this angle equal to what i have three sides given and another uh, another rule of using cosine rule is all three sides are given here three sides is given we need to find out this angle and the way we're going to do for angle we're going to use this angle c see that angle c so we're going to use cos c equal to now opposite of this angles the, the, the side opposite of this one i'm gonna make this one sub uh, minus six square and other two sides sum of their square so eight square plus 12 square see that cos c minus c squared a square plus b square divided by whatever we add we take the product of that with multiply by two so that's gonna be 8 square plus 12 square minus 6 square that's gonna give me 172 divided by 2 times 8 times 12 and that's gonna be 192 so angle C is gonna be cos inverse cos inverse bracket 172 divided by 192 and that's gonna give me 26.4 degree 26.4 degree okay and these are how we use the sine and cosine rule. I hope you understand. These are very simple concepts. Okay. Um, uh, if you have any question, leave it in the comment box. Okay. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Have a good day.